All right, Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Hey, earlier today I had a conversation with teenagers uh, while they were in the car with their parents and just talking about being respectful. Twitter blew up, our Facebook, Morning Show website. Everybody wanted me to replay the conversation that I had earlier. Here it is. I hope y'all enjoy it. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Hey, man, I just want to have a word with the kids. All you wonderful teenagers that's probably on the way to school or in the cars with your parents right now, especially if you, you know, you got a, a single parent. And I talk about this because I'm I'm going through it. Don't don't think for a minute just because I'm on the radio, and you know we got a little little hot TV reality show that we don't go through stuff. There's some stuff that go down when the cameras ain't around. And I don't want to tell y'all kids out here, man, that that have a single parent, man. Your mama sitting up here, going to work every day, doing her thing putting up with people crap dealing with customer service dealing with patience and lifting and all this kind of stuff man some of y'all out here don't even know how good y'all got it and y'all don't even understand what what most of y'all parents went through just where you could have what you have everybody that's in the car with your mama right now look down at your feet and look at your and pull your pants leg up and look at your shoes and your socks your parents done went and spent a hundred couple hundred dollars on shoes you got nice jeans and you got nice clothes and, and half of y'all ain't even riding the bus getting dropped off at school today you are so blessed you have way more than we ever had and i'm and i can say all this stuff man because i'm from the projects I'm from Kingston Pride. We were, we grew up on Section A. And then to have kids to say something back. If your parents say something to you, man, only thing you need to do is say yes, ma'am, or yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. No, sir. We didn't ask you who put the shoes in the floor. We said get the shoes out the floor. Even when you explain something is a, is a slight way of being disrespectful and talking back. And I want y'all to understand something. Every time you talk back to your parents, man, you cutting your days short. The Bible said, honor thy mother and thy father that thy days may be long upon the land the Lord thy God giveth thee. It's in the Bible. And I'm telling you, man, you around here become a teenager. You ain't bought nothing. You don't pay no bills. You don't pay no rent. You ain't. You, we have to make you clean up. We have to make you take half y'all take a bath. We have to make you take the garbage out on Mondays and Fridays or Tuesdays and Thursdays, whatever, whenever the garbage is supposed to go out. Sit up in the house. You got brand new phones. You got iPhones. You got all these social media accounts. And, and, and a lot of y'all are just not respectful. And I ain't just talking about just a couple of this, uh, um, that's in my house. I see it. I see it with a lot of y'all teenagers. And I'm telling you something, man. You're going you gon, you gon to mess around here because some of your parents are in their 30s. Some of them are in their 40s. And you better think about how you treat your mom and your dad, especially if you got a single parent. Because a lot of them, one of my best friends' dad went to sleep the other night and didn't wake up. You understand? It ain't guaranteed that your parents going to always be here. How you think you're going to feel when they roll your mom and your dad a casket out of that church? And you, the only thing you're going to be left is to sit back and reflect on how you treated your parents that went to work every day to give you everything everything y'all got everything y'all are so blessed it seemed like the more money y'all parents make and the more y'all have the more unappreciative and disrespectful y'all are i know i got a college kid right now i got a nephew who i've been raising the past 10 years his dad got killed t west played college football at middle tennessee state university probably probably can take me and dust my whole house with me and whoop me up and down the hall if he wanted to. And here go a kid that went to Clay Chalkville High School, ain't never gave me a problem, ain't never talked back, ain't never whispered a mumbling word. And his brother TJ that go to Miles College. I raised both of these boys for 10 years. Ain't never. And then set up there and buried their father. TJ in the ninth grade, Terrell, eight years old. They dad laying up there in the casket. Little girl Genesis, they go to Ramsey High School. Sitting up there. Couldn't even cry for her own mother's funeral because she was too busy trying to comfort her grandmother. She don't have nobody but her grandmother. She got an uncle that lived in Houston and she got me. And for some of y'all kids that got everything and disrespectful, I'm emotional right now for all parents that have to put up with this crap. 
And the only thing we're trying to do is save your life. Keep you from getting killed. Because if your attitude bad, you don't even know how to handle yourself if you get pulled over by the police. Sit at the table with your phones. Won't talk. Won't clean up the kitchen. Won't text. Be on social media all day. I'm just going to tell you straight up, all y'all wrong. And I'm going to tell you, man, some of y'all y'all little boys around here, pants sagging, ain't respectful, cussing out your teachers. I feel bad for teachers. I'm an education major. I wouldn't dare walk in the classroom. I feel bad for teachers. I want y'all to know and understand, God sit high and look low. He's watching you. Every time you disrespect a grown person, you are cutting your days short. Honor thy mother and thy father that thy days may be long. See, my daddy disrespected my grandparents. And I was one of them kids that sat there on that front row uh, while my daddy was in that casket. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna sit up here and just fake the funk. My daddy went right. He didn't do what was right. And at 26 years old, he was gone and left a seven-year-old son. And then my mama had to figure it out. And my grandparents had to figure it out. Sit up there and watch my grandparents on the front row crying like that and going through what they was going through. Because you decided not to make the right decision. You have an opportunity of a lifetime to educate yourself and make something happen. Do the right thing, kid. Respect your parents, man. Your parents ain't going to always be here. They ain't going to always be here. And if you mistreat your parents and something happened to them, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. So I hope that touched somebody today, some teenager in the car. Hug your mama, hug your daddy when you get home. Clean up your room. Do what's right. Make good grades. That's all you have to do. All you have to do. Ricky Smile the Morning Show. I'm going to do this here every now and then. I'm going to have some real conversations on here. Ricky Smile the Morning Show.